As the Ukrainian army continued its counteroffensive, it also continued its defensive actions. The Ukrainian army continues its defensive operations while at the same time successfully conducting counteroffensive operations. New and important developments are taking place on many fronts, especially in Zaporozhye and Kherson, the fronts most affected by the Ukrainian army's counterattack. Russian forces are taking defensive actions to stop Ukraine's advance. The Ukrainian army, on the other hand, continues its offensive on the Melitopol and Verdiansk fronts in order to strengthen its position in the positions they have taken back from the Russian forces. In the last 24 hours, the Russian army has attempted to advance in some areas. The Ukrainian army responded. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine shared its report on the latest developments. According to the report, the Russian army attacked Hirorivka, Sieverne, Marinka, Krosnorivka, and Novomkalivka regions. However, the Ukrainian defense forces repelled the attacks in these regions, and the Russian army failed in these attacks. In addition, Ukrainian rocket forces and artillery units hit a Russian common post, three Russian military personnel, an ammunition storage point, an electronic warfare system, seven field artillery units, and an anti-aircraft defense system. For each all actual news, fast and reliable worldwide, please don't forget to follow and like us.